paint there. My name's Rufus. And I, I, I really don't feel like doing this because I'm kind of tired. But um, they they sort of were in a pinch and they needed somebody to um, host like the pet pals um, of librarians book talk thing. And so I told them that I would try to do it, but I didn't want to do it for very long. So because um, I got to take a nap. But anyway, this is this is. Um, book talks with pet pals of librarians and this is the vestavia hills public library well it's actually the vestavia hills library in the forest but it is a public library so um anyway i can't go in they don't let dogs go in but it doesn't really matter i don't care i don't care at all um i i just like to stay home with my with my person so i'm happy you know not going to the library but you know if you're a person you should go to the library because um you know i think it's pretty good for for people um must be because lots of folks go to it but anyway that's not really what they wanted me to say they really just wanted me to tell you that um the one who's doing the book talk today's name is ruby and she's kind of cute she looks like a um she looks like a smushed up face dog um i probably shouldn't say that because i yeah well anyway she's um she's real cute so just watch her and uh, listen to what she's got to say okay well um i'm gonna go back to sleep now and take take a nap because i do a lot and i get tired okay okay this is rufus uh thanking you for watching uh book talks with uh pet pals of librarians G goodbye goodbye Hello, my name is Ruby. I'm a Boston Terrier. And I uh, live with my person here, well actually the whole family here, and her name is Amy Jackson and she just started to work at the Vestavia Hills Public Library. And you know, she really likes it. And so um, I thought, well, you know, I'm always here with my family. As you can see, we're in the uh, gen together we're always together um so i don't get a lot of free time to myself because they keep me with them all the time because i'm so adorable but anyway sometimes you know they go to work and they leave me here and when they do leave me here i like to read so um when amy got the job uh, at the public library i said hey why don't you let me go talk to the kids a little bit about some books i've read some things that i like and, um, you know, help them get to be readers too. Because, you know, every dog, every person needs to be a reader, right? Of course. Well, anyway, so um, I got to thinking and I thought, you know, um, I love my family and we're, we're a very diverse family. You know, it's, um, you know, different people living together, different species living together. You know, I live here in a household full of people and i'm a dog so you know we have to learn each other's uh, idiosyncrasies and things so i thought why don't i do a book talk on uh diversity families diverse families so um maybe adoption you know kind of focus on adoption because i was adopted so um now i have a sister too and she lives here with me but she's a little camera shy so she didn't want to do it today but anyway um, I thought I'd talk about um, some books I've read that I really liked. So the first one I want to talk about is called um, Gaston. Uh, now Gaston is a dog and he's a, um, he's a bulldog and he lives with a family of poodles. So Gaston doesn't know that there's any difference between him and his poodle sisters. You know, he thinks they're all the same. So he, he acts like a poodle. He's very precise. He's very prissy. You know, he's very, um, you know, everything has to be just so-so. And, um, you know, Gaston thinks that's the way he's supposed to be until one day he goes to the park and he sees a family of bulldogs. Well, they don't act exactly like his family of poodles. And so he realizes or they all realize there's been a mix-up so gaston goes and lives with the bulldogs and then the poodle puppy that was living with the bulldogs goes and lives with his sisters the poodles and so they all think okay now everything's back to normal this is the way it should be the families are right da 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 but it doesn't work out that way because even though they look alike 
they really don't belong um, together because that's not the way they were raised and that's not where the love is. So you got to go where the love is. That's the story or that's the message basically of Gaston. It's really good. It's by Kelly um, DiPuccio. And so um, I would suggest that you get it and read it because it's, it's kind of a heartwarming story about a really cute dog with a smushed in face like me. So anyway, um, another book. And listen, I'm not just going with the bulldog theme here. I really do have a reason. Um, this one is called A Family for Louie. And it's by Alexandra Thompson. Now, Louie is sort of a stray bulldog, okay? I think he lives in, like, Paris, and he gets along really great on his own. You know, he's got everything going for him. He knows where he's going to sleep every night. He goes from restaurant to restaurant and gets his food, and everybody loves him, and he's living a great life until he realizes, you know, that he's he's kind of lonesome and he, he wants a family. So he goes and he tries to get into these different families that he sees around um, Paris and it just never works out. It just doesn't work out until he, one day he sees a little girl um, by a bakery and she's trying to um, give out her cupcakes. And so he goes up to her and makes friends with her and she lives with her mom. It's just her and her mom. And they decide to take uh, Louie home and it's a perfect fit. So, um, you know, you should read the book. It's got great pictures, and it really is a lovely book to look at, too. But, of course, I like to read. So, uh, But it's got plenty of words, so you'll have plenty to read. Now, let's see. Uh, the last book, I didn't want to do another bulldog book, uh, but it is an adoption book. It's called I Found a Kitty by Troy Cummings. And it's really cute because uh, this dog, Arvie, um, now, he was adopted. He was recently adopted. So, um, he kind of runs across this little stray kitten, and he he wants to give her a home because he's he's got a wonderful home. He's happy with his family and or his person. And so, he um, tries to, to take the little kitty home, but unfortunately, his person's allergic to cats. So, that it didn't work out. So, Orphy decides he's going to find a home for... Um, the little kitty and he he writes letters to all these different people trying to place the kitty because the kitty's so sweet and so cute you know i don't want a kitty so don't get me a kitty but anyway he will you know he likes the kitty and he tries to find a place for her and so the story is um basically how he finds a home for his little friend uh, the little kitty cat. I think he named a Scamper, something like that. So anyway, it's really cute. You should read it. Uh, it's another one of the heartwarming uh, books. And I think the librarian is including another book list um, when this uh, when I get through talking, and it's going to be um, a list of other diverse family books, maybe not with dogs in them, uh, but, you know, adoption of uh, diverse families. So she'll give you some ideas of some other books you can read, but I don't have any more time now. I've got to go. My family's, you know, is getting together here. I think we're about to eat a meal. We almost always um, have a meal when we get together. So um, I uh, don't want to miss any of that. You know, lots of good nibbles under the table. Somebody's always sneaking me something and I want to make sure I don't miss anything. So um, thanks for letting me talk to you. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you get some of these books and read them. Um, and I hope you have a great, wonderful, diverse family too, whether you have two moms or two dads, or maybe just a mom or just a dad, or maybe you live with your grandma, your grandpa, your aunt, your uncle, whoever. Um, you know, every family is a good family because there's love. You know, if there's love, um, there's a family. It doesn't matter who is what or what is who. So, you know, that's my message. And I'm going to go ahead and stop now. Uh, as you can tell, I'm a really wise dog. Uh, so anyway, this is Ruby signing off. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. And I hope I see you again soon. Okay. All right. Goodbye. Mm -hmm.